Hello everybody, my name is Garrett Mullaney and today I'm going to teach you how to drum. Have you ever wished that you could drum a beat when somebody needed it? Or have you ever wished that you could pop out a beat whenever one, when anybody was like, yo dude, give me that sick beat. Well today, I'm going to teach you how to do just that with five simple steps. Follow me and you will be the world's greatest drummer. Step one, choose the set at which you're going to use. Here are some examples of what not to use. Wrong. Wrong. Right. Choosing the right drum set is an important part of drumming. If you choose the wrong set, then people will think of you as a bad drummer. So make sure you choose the right set and make yourself look good. Step two, choosing the right image as a drummer. When you're drumming, you want to give off a good appearance or whatever appearance you may want to give off, it's up to you. For me, when I drum, the appearance I want to get off is looking pretty hot, pretty hot, pretty hot. And the ladies, they dig. But for you, it might be something else. So make sure you find that because it's an important part of drum. And voila. We have our sexy drummer. The image is complete. Let's move on to the next step. Step three, find a catchy beat to play. Throughout the course of your drumming expertise, you will learn how to drum several beats. For me, I've picked up several over the course of my, how many years have I been drumming? Too many to count. Too many to count. Too many to count. <laughs> Anyways, so, as you're drumming, you will pick up catchy beats. The ones I've picked up are from people improving, doing solos, things like that. Kind of like this one. Step four, learn how to keep tempo. Many of us in America have something called a white man's disease. Now, there is a cure for this disease, but first let me explain what white man's disease is. White man's disease is a disease where the infected cannot keep time for the life of them. To demonstrate, To overcome this problem, you must do... Do it right! Okay. And ta-da! Problem solved. Step 5. Now that you have all the components you need to drum well, you've got your tempo, you've got your groove, You've got your swag, and you've got your drum set. You can finally put them all together and create one heck of one heck of one heck of a drumming session. But for a little effect, for a little added extra effect, let's take this to the next level and go somewhere, go drum somewhere no one has ever drummed before. Come on, let's go. Whisper words of wisdom, let it go.